Welcome to another edition of Mike Graham's Political Punch-Up, right here on Talk Radio TV. My two guests today are Dave Levine, uh, who hosts a show on Talk Radio, uh, which is, of course, all about the best of the week. Uh, you can hear that every single week, very early in the morning. Uh, and JJ Anasiobi is here as well. The question to you, JJ, first of all, is gender neutrality here to stay? Should we do it for everything? No. We should not do Thank that. you very much indeed. That was the physical punch up. <laughs> uh, we'll be back next week. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to elaborate. <laughs> a little bit. Honestly, in a, in a more serious uh, moment, I feel this society is becoming dangerously close to making women illegal. Really? And if, really. And if we don't stop it now, it's just going to get more and more out of control. Women need safe spaces. Adele said at the Brit Awards, I love being a woman. And for that, she gets called a turf. Yeah. How can a woman who is a woman not be able to say, I enjoy being a woman without being attacked? I think it's ridiculous. Um, what do you think? I don't think it matters whether you're a man or a woman in, a, in an award. I actually want the best singer and, and it's more uh, appropriate to, concern, to compare genre than it is to compare gender. So why not just have gender neutral awards across the board? But isn't it the case though, JJ, that Adele won the award, um, but she only won the award because there could only be one winner. And so Ed Sheeran, who you could argue is just as big a star as she is and just as big uh, a singer as she is, has to miss out. Yeah, absolutely. So Adele gets the award, wonderful, it's gender neutral, but then there's no male winner. If we had separate, separate categories, male, female, then everyone gets to win. What, what's the difference between being the leading Brit or whatever it was called, whether you're male and female? Surely it, it lessens it to go, no, no, you're the best female, there might be a best male. It's one overall winner. No, it you, have, you have it, best it film at the Oscar. It doesn't lessen it, it doesn't lessen it at all. But yeah, but at the Oscars you also still have best male and best female. Let me ask you a question. At the Brit Awards this year, JJ, which you were at, um, were there male and female toilets? Yeah. Oh, yes, oh so were. it's not gender they neutral were. everywhere then? No, it's not. It's not. And this, this is another thing. We shouldn't have uh, gender neutral changing rooms, gender neutral toilets. I don't want to see it in schools. I don't want to see it um, in, in public restaurants. They should be separate. They should stay separate because both for safety and for dignity, they should have separate spaces. I mean, most women I speak to don't want men walking into their toilet. They certainly don't want men walking into their changing room at Marks oh, Well, m women's toilets are usually actually much nicer and much uh, Well, I much wouldn't cleaner. know. I've, I've, yeah. never, been, I've never been How in them. How do you know, Dave? I've, I've never <laughs> been in them, so I don't know. Well, you know, in an emergency. <laughs> yeah. but, but also, All I know is the queue's always a lot longer. So I'm yeah. often, it's often the other way around. You see women going into the, the men's, men's toilets yeah. it's easy to get in. Football yeah, matches and all Men that, absolutely do benefit for that. But if you've got cubicles, what does it matter if there's a, a man it or matters. in the space? No, well, it definitely matters. matters. I yeah. mean, there are lots of places in London now, lots of restaurants where you go and they have just cubicles. But it's a weird scene if you've got men and women in the same space. Yeah. It doesn't work for It doesn't me. work. And it's one thing if you have the cubicle and the cubicle door opens straight into the open space, yeah. like, like a disabled toilet does. Yeah. That's, that's fine. But having, having to go into a room which is still called, so you've got the room, yeah. and then within that room, then you have the cubicles. I don't think that's safe. And I know it's how supposed is, to be sorry, trendy. How is it unsafe? Because if, if, I, if I, as a male, wanted to go in there and push a woman back into the bathroom and do, do something inappropriate to her, then, I mean, I mean that, that's a that's more, space. That would be more to do with, 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 with someone being a rapist or uh, sexually assaulting someone than to do with their gender. Yeah, but in mo most situations, you're not going to have that possibility of happening, are you? Because men and women are not going to be in the same place yeah. in, in, in a little room like that. Whereas if you have uh, encouraged people to do that, then there's more likelihood of it happening. But I, 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 would, I would suggest that actually, if you look at statistics, that probably fewer sexual assaults happen in bathrooms than they do elsewhere. That's because they don't have gender neutral bathrooms. Yeah, but yeah. Do, do you really That's think separate. that someone is going to go, oh, well, it's got a sign for a woman on the door, I can't go in there. Surely it makes it even easier for them to sexually assault someone in the bathroom because they're not expected to be there. No, no, no I don't no. think you're right about that. I, yeah, I think Let's talk about gender neutrality <laughs> everywhere because at the moment that is very much a, a narrative that people are talking about. Um, and, and, and people say, I don't wish to be identified as a man or a woman. I wish to be identified as whatever I wish to be identified as. I mean, we had a story on Plank of the Week this week that people in Bristol University can be identified as cats which seems a bit odd to me, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think they want a separate toilet, do they? You just give a litter tray. <laughs> <laughs> just in the corner, off you go, mate. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I think it's a very serious subject and I think we have to make sure that if it is done as a kind of gimmick, 
for a, an award ceremony, it doesn't seep into every aspect of life. No, it, it has to be done authentically. And I think that if you look across society, that there are ways uh, in which it is already being done that doesn't end up in the paper and doesn't end up being an argument. You know, Name there some. are. Sorry? Name some. Name an example. Okay, there are uh, five aside football teams that include both men and women. There are netball teams that include uh, men and women. There are MMA are classes. Yeah. They're just called uh, football teams and okay. five aside. Yeah, but there are MMA that's... classes and, and, and training classes that include men and women. And what happens when they go to the changing room? That, well, that, that's the important part. Boys and girls can play sport together. Boys and girls are educated together. That isn't the question. That's fine, but we're talking about the safe spaces. It depends where you go. But well, they're not know, sharing I'd... the showers, are they? No, they're not well, sharing the showers. Anyway. Yeah, the, the, the showering is still separate then, Dave. Yeah, but showers are, showers are cubicled anyway. I don't share the showers no, with other not. men. No, no, they're not. No, they're not. And if you play five-a-side football, they have those yeah, open, open showers. Ones. No, the, uh, most, most of the, 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 the like power leagues and goals have cubicled showers now. No. Oh. I, I've always been to the football and had to shower openly with all the other yeah, boys. Yeah, years ago, I'm sure. But 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 now you would say that with uh, more openness about gender, more openness about sexuality, privacy... But it's not is... more openness, is it? It's about more closeness because you're saying that you don't have a gender. You're saying to people, you're all the same. No, no, I, I'm saying that you have a right to privacy and safety and that should... That, that should be in a cubicle or a private space within a, a, a bigger room. I don't see why you, me using a locker has anything to do with whether I shower in, in, in a, a, a cubicle in a men's changing room or a cubicle in a women's well, changing room. What about room? in gyms? I mean, if you go to a gym and you find <laughs> that there's only one changing room, yeah. you know, where people tend to disrobe in public rather mm -hmm. than sort of in a, a cubicle as such, yeah. you know, you can't do that, can you? I don't think you should be able to. I believe in safe spaces for women and not having to... Um, force women to accept having males in their spaces because that, that's not okay. And if there's, for example, uh, trans or non-binary, they should have their own safe space also where they feel comfortable. So they should have a space. third changing room. A third changing room. But what about the what about the the, peop, uh, the trans people that would say, actually, I identify as a woman. I want to go into the women's changing room. Well, you say, no, you can't do that because now you're all gender neutral. Yeah. Well, so no, but that's to get difficult, isn't <laughs> it? But, but, yeah. No, but this... So this... why should they object if the women aren't allowed to? No, no, but if they... if 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 uh, if JJ is saying there's a women's space, a men's space, and a trans space, mm -hmm. the trans identifying men would want to go into the male space, and trans identifying women would want to be in the women's space. But JJ is saying no, 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 they can't go into that. They have to have their own space. Right. Yeah. That's not how they identify. You have to build a lot more uh, dressing rooms, don't you? Yeah, a lot more or, space. Lot more or space. you just have. <laughs> we haven't got enough space in this country as it is. <laughs> but or you just have lots of changing room spaces with privacy areas within them, cubicles. Or maybe you just change at home. See, I've solved it. But you've, been no into, you've been into changing rooms uh, uh, at shops where they just have uh, uh, cubicles where you pull the curtain across, and sometimes they don't have men's and women's spaces; they just have cubicles. But there's yeah. also someone on, on guard there watching. There's somebody, also. yeah. There's somebody there's watching. There, you don't yeah. put clothes on and walk out with them on. Yeah. And not pay for them. Yeah. So you know, I, I, that's, I, a, I, control, that's a controlled space. That's not a space right. So, so open. what? There's there's no one that during the operating hours of a gym. Uh, that, that goes in and that checks hangs out the change room. Or... No, but there's, there's constantly someone at the change room. <laughs> yeah, but you room. don't. That's what you don't there. get right is when you go into those places with curtains. You don't see people wandering about naked, do you? No, but you don't necessarily see that all the time at the gym. I wouldn't know. I don't go, <laughs> as you can see. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a little bell that you're going to hear now because I'm going to have to give my very neutral verdict on who's going to win this particular debate. And today. Uh, it was a good political punch-up, that, with lots of different issues, because we're not quite certain where we're going with this. The Brit Awards are gender neutral. I don't think anything else should be gender neutral. So on that basis, I'm going to give the win today to JJ, uh, who uh, has long awaited this because he's lost a couple in the previous time. Uh, Dave Levine, nil. Uh, JJ, one. That was the political punch-up. We'll see you next time.